Hello guys, welcome to my newest video. Today I'm going to show you the scene we are going to make in my very first tutorial ever. It's going to be a little horror game, so expect a lot of dark things. <laughs> so if we start, uh, start out, we first start in this little hallway. So you can see there's a door and we can't get out. If you walk to this door, you can see a white hand is appearing. It shows the player that you can interact with this object. If I try to interact now by pressing the E button, nothing happens. So we have to find a key because the door is obviously locked. So if we go here, grab the key, we can now open the door. So, if we step into the living room, we can hear this piano playing by itself. This is a little jump scare. I'm going to show you how to do this jump scare, of course. And then, we can see this trail of blood. But before we follow it, um, we see the sofa here. And we can see this queen. So keep that card in mind, because we're going to need it later for a little riddle. So now we're following the blood trail. So if I open the store now, we end up in a little bathroom. Here's a little mirror, a toilet, and in the bathtub there's a dead body and a lot of blood. So if we go out here, there's another door, and now if we try to escape this apartment, we can't leave because, as you can hear, the door is locked. So, if you open this door, we see a little desk and another picture of another card, this time it's a jack. And here's a little paper, and if you pick it up, it reads, the answer is in the cards. This is a little riddle. Because if you look down here, here's a little safe and it has a number lock and we need to enter four different numbers to actually unlock this lock. And the riddle, or I suppose the hint, told us that the answer lies in the cards. So we have a jack and a queen. And those cards, the jack has a value of 11 and the queen has a value of 12. So the code could e uh, either be 1211 or 1112. So if you try to enter 1211, uh, you can see nothing happens. But if we uh, put in 112, the door actually opens so we can grab a key and also a gun. So let's first grab the key, now grab the gun. Now we have the gun equipped in a little like crosshair thing. And the zombie is attacking us. If we kill it, we, die. we completed the level more or less. And you can see in the bathtub that the um, dead body has disappeared. And now we can unlock this final door. Uh, nothing happens, but uh, we could now try to load another scene or something like this. So, uh, what am I going to show you? I'm going to show you how to make this whole apartment. We're going to model it in Blender. We are not going to model everything that's inside of this apartment because it would take forever. So I'm going to show you how to import things, like for example this piano. And this uh, chairs and the table over here. Then I'm going to show you how to make this blood. I'm going to show you how to make uh, the doors that you can open and close. I'm going to show you how to lock them and open them with keys like I showed you before. 
and I'm going to show you how to make this very very simple enemy and this very very simple gun. And after that we can uh, see perhaps we can expand this or you can make your own and show me what you did with uh, the things I taught you. And I think it's going to be very uh, like a, it's going to be much fun. And until then, bye guys.